So we saw thousands of people come forward at the Harvest Crusade this year and make professions of faith to follow Jesus Christ. But not all of them are going to stay with it. Because in the parable of the sower, only one out of four continues on. You know, Jesus told a story. It's found in Mark's Gospel, chapter 4. It says, Jesus began teaching by the lake shore. A large crowd gathered, and he got into a boat, and he taught them with many stories. Here's one of them. We call it the parable of the sower. He says, listen, a farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants, so they produced no fruit. Still other seed fell on fertile soil, and they sprouted, grew, and produced a crop that was 30, 60, even 100 times as much as what they had planted. So in this parable, Jesus is talking about how when the seed was sown, the birds came and ate it. Birds like food. Check out these seagulls. Hey guys, want some food? Oh, there they go. You're supposed to be taking the food from me. See, the seed was sown and the birds came and took it. That's what birds do, especially seagulls. When the word of God goes out, the devil comes immediately and tries to snatch away that which was sown in the heart of the person. This is a description of the person who makes a commitment to follow Jesus Christ, but it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't take root. They don't seem to totally get it. It could also apply to people that you talk to that say, well, that's nice for you, but I don't really care. It's like the devil comes immediately, just like these birds, and takes away the word that was sown in their heart. That's category number one. Well, then there was another seed that fell on shallow soil, sort of like this one here. You know, it, you plant the seed, but because it doesn't get root down deep enough, it withers in the blazing sun. Look at that thing, no root. This is a description of those people that make a commitment to Christ, or so it seems. They shoot up, and by that I mean, I mean that they, they seem to really be into it. Maybe they go out and get themselves a brand new Bible, and they're at church, and they're talking about the things of the Lord. In fact, you might even say to someone else, I've never seen such a dramatic, quick conversion. But then just out of nowhere, they just bail. They throw in the towel, they disappear. And then you'll talk to them and say, what happened? Oh, you know, it didn't work for me. I tried the whole Christianity thing. See, here's the problem. Christianity is not a thing. <laughs> Christianity is a relationship with Christ. It's personal. God works for everyone. And if it didn't work for you, it's because you misunderstood. We're not dealing with an it. We're dealing with a him. And Jesus will change every person that comes to him by faith. Here was your problem. You didn't have any root. You didn't get root down in the Word of God. Or you built your life on the wrong foundation. Maybe you built it on an emotional experience. And once the euphoria wore off, you walked away. Or maybe you built your relationship on the relationship of someone else with Christ. You know, they didn't stay with it, so you didn't stay with it. Or maybe there was someone you looked up to and admired and they showed that they were human like the rest of us. And you said, oh, well, they're hypocrites. You know, these are excuses, okay? God will never fail you. God will never fail to fulfill his promises to you. What you need to do is get your roots down into Jesus Christ, and then you will bring forth fruit that remains or have lasting changes in your life. You know, life is filled with distractions. Jesus talked about that seed that was sown on the ground that was choked out by the weeds. He said, these are they that hear the word of God, but they're choked out by the cares of this life and their worries. Sometimes it's illegitimate things, things that are sinful, things that pull us away from God. Sometimes there are legitimate things that are just out of whack. 
We worry about stuff we don't need to worry about. We become obsessed with our career, obsessed with our appearance, anything that keeps us away from God. The thing about the weeds is it's not overnight. In other words, a weed doesn't lunge out of the ground and choke a flower to death. It's a slow process of the weed, slowing the growth of the good fruit. And then the same way, this talks about people that hear God's word, but as time passes, other things distract them. They lose interest in the things of God. And before you know it, they reveal themselves as a person who never really committed themselves to Christ at all. So we saw thousands of people come forward at the Harvest Crusade this year and make professions of faith to follow Jesus Christ. But not all of them are going to stay with it. Because in the parable of the sower, only one out of four continues on. There's that seed that is sown on the roadside. The devil comes and snatches it away just like those birds grab the bread. There's that seed that is sown on the soil, but it shoots up in the sun, but it doesn't have any root and doesn't stand the test of time. There's a seed that is choked out by the cares and riches of this life or surrounded by weeds. But then there's a seed that takes root in the soil and brings forth fruit. Like this little plant here in this very arid environment, Somehow this plant has managed to flourish. The roots go deep into the soil, drawing from the nutrients and the moisture and so forth, and fruit comes as a result. If you want to be one of those people that continues on with the Lord, guess what? It's really up to you. It comes down to how you hear the Word of God. Jesus summed up the Sermon on the Mount this way. Whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, he's like a man who builds his house on the rock. And when the storms come and the winds beat upon it and so forth, he stands firm because he's built on a rock. But then he says, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, he's like a fool that built his house on sand. The storms come and the winds beat upon it, he doesn't stand because he's built on sand. You decide how you will respond to the word of God. You decide what kind of soil, if you will, your heart will be. You decide if you will be a fruit-bearing Christian or one that just withers in the burning sun. It is my hope and it is my prayer that if you've made a commitment to Jesus Christ, you will commit yourself to study God's word and hear God's word. Not only that, but apply God's word. I pray that you will bring forth fruit that will remain. You know why? Jesus said, herein is my Father glorified that you bring forth much fruit. This is why God made you. You were put on this earth to glorify God and to bring forth spiritual fruit. Anything less of that is falling short of his plan and purpose for your life. I pray that you will be a fruitful Christian.